and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about this puzzle here called Chain Store. It was designed by Gopit Kiam from Singapore, I hope I pronounced this right. And it was crafted by Eric Fuller in the US. This box is made out of zebra wood. And then we have this wooden chain, which is made out of wenge. And the task of this puzzle is to put this chain inside of the box. Not like this, obviously, but you need to put it inside the box that it must be flush with the lid here on the top. Means it's not allowed to protrude in any way here over the top. It sounds very interesting because when you just take it in your hands and try to get it in, it seems at the first moment impossible to get it in and really align it here flush with this box. This requirement makes it of course a packing puzzle and since packing puzzles are not really my speciality here, I'm not too good at them and this is going to be very interesting to see how long it will take me to solve this puzzle. In addition, I would like to discuss for, uh, with you a interesting toy and this is called Wonder Wire. It's basically two spring shaped wires that are entangled here in the middle and if you try to separate them, they never come apart. This is very interesting, a very interesting behavior. And after I hopefully will solve this puzzle, I will explain you how this wonder wire works and where you can get it. So stay tuned after the solution. And okay, that's it basically for the introduction. And after the spoiler break, I will attempt solving this puzzle. Okay, I have no idea how difficult this is gonna be today, but I expect it will be difficult according to the description. It's not an easy puzzle, so I think it will be challenging. I would just pose, I gonna start now or a plan how to fit it inside, but I will just to just check some details here on the puzzle to understand it a little bit better. So the length of this compartment is exactly the same length as one piece of the chain and the width is a little bit less. However, if I turn it in this direction, it's one piece more. I would expect it will not work like this. I would expect there is a nice geometric solution where you probably need to arrange these pieces in a way that they are orientated to consume as much space as possible. This is what I'm gonna do now. I will try to arrange them and get a feeling what's possible with this puzzle. The problem is the pieces of the chain are connected to each other and this is blocking you from moving them in the same way. So I cannot just put these two, for example, in the same position in parallel. It just don't work. This was kind of fiddly, but somehow I managed to do it. Okay, I think it was like so. Okay, so both of the pieces are now connected to the middle piece. Maybe I can arrange these two here in a way. Ah, oh, ah, oh, but this actually looks pretty nice. You see this? Maybe in this way. Maybe work in this way. I think this must be the solution because it's so compact. The size seems to be the right size. Ah, not sure. Okay, no, but this is this would be too big. Ah, this looks so nice. Actually, I thought I I got it already, but it seems to be wrong. I'm now really curious if this is as the correct dimension here or if it may be warped a little bit due to moisture or, or whatever. Let me just check the dimension it has over here just to understand if the dimension is okay. So, so this seems to be all straight and not warped. Actually it should fit. But it does not, obviously. 
but okay, let's see. I came again back to the same, <laughs> same design as before, I think. How can I get a little bit smaller? No, 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 this does not really work. Ah, okay. Whew, this is really as difficult as I expected. Hmm. It would fit in like this. This would be crazy. But why not? Yeah. Hmm. No. Let's get it apart again. I always come back to the same shape. Okay. Let's build. Let's try building a shape which I might be able to put in diagonal. difficult as this puzzle is, somehow it's incredibly satisfying. Can't explain why, but it's definitely a cool puzzle. Whoa, okay. Whew. I'm still clueless. If you have this, if you own this puzzle, let me know how long it took you to solve it because I'm interested to know if I, if this is extraordinary difficult only to me. it off and it fits no just kidding just kidding oh, but this is really tight I think a little bit more or however because the width of this box yeah as I mentioned before several times it's just don't fit here and I can't imagine that this is a coincidence Maybe I do not need to fit all pieces diagonally in. Oh, man. So if this puzzle has really a satisfying solution, it's absolutely brilliant because by randomly playing around with it, it seems to be nearly impossible to get the pieces arranged and if there's really a way to get them arranged and then just dropping in the box this would be amazing but it's getting more and more frustrating also <laughs> as you can imagine it's now I don't know how much time I took it took me already probably an hour what about this work yes I think that can work get in get in what the hell? don't mix it up now I think this could work maybe or no it does not so close oh, I thought 
I got it. Yeah! Oh, is it in? It, does it count? I'm not sure. Hysterical scream. <laughs> Is it in? Does it does this count? Yes, I think this counts, or oh. it's in. Oh man. It's not even it's not even diagonal, it's nothing. It's just like this. And it fits. It just fits. It's flush with the top. And it fits. And why was this now so difficult to find? Let me check again. Woo! Oh, I made it. It's actually pretty simple. If you do the right order of moves, it's pretty simple. You need to take the outer pieces. And that was so difficult. You need to take the outer pieces inside. Fold them. Vertically. Same for the other one. This is kind of tricky. It's not something you usually do or you do randomly. And if it's in this position, you can get it out. No matter if you put it in this direction or other way around. I prefer other way around. Somehow it needs, it seems to be a little bit more stable. And then you can just take it in. And it fits perfectly fine. It just drops in. And that's it. That's the solution to the chain store puzzle. Not sure about the time, but still, I think this is quite a tricky puzzle. I would not give it a five out of a maximum of five on my personal difficulty scale, uh, rating scale because I think someone who's familiar with packing puzzles probably solved this faster, but still I think it's a definitely a level four puzzle. If you also own this puzzle, please let me know how long it took you to assemble it just to get an understanding if it took me extraordinary long or if it's was just um, simply a difficult puzzle, okay? And before we stop, I have also here what I promised you in the beginning. I will explain you how this trick here works in case you didn't understand why these two wires can't be pulled apart. Even if I pull them here, as you can see, they just come off and it's a very simple optical illusion because these two wires are of course connected and they always remain in the same connected state. I just grab them firmly here and if I pull them, the wire is sliding along my fingers through my fingers and it looks like they are disentangling or unscrewing but in reality it's not the case they just stay in the position as they are and it's just sliding through my fingers a pretty cool optical illusion and um, I put you of course a link for both the, uh, this puzzle and also this wire in the video description of today's episode and until next time keep on puzzling